we all have an obligation to respect the Constitution of Kenya. This also includes the respect of institutions established and created by the Constitution. Our country's electoral system and process is anchored on the principles of our Constitution. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission conducted a free, fair, and transparent general election on the 9th of August, <clears throat> 2022, a poll that was observed by different organizations, both local and international. The Commission declared the results for all six elections conducted and any contestants who were aggrieved by the outcome had an opportunity to present their grievances to the country's judicial system for arbitration. The Supreme Court of Kenya had and determined with finality the 2022 presidential election dispute and ruled on the petitions that were filed by the aggrieved contestants and their supporters. Nevertheless, I have carefully listened to the issues raised by my friend, the Honorable Raila Odinga. In times like this, it is not about who is right or who is wrong. Like Winston Churchill said, I dare, and I dare say, and I quote, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak, but it is also what it takes to sit down and listen. I have always been ready to engage Kenyans of all walks of life, including elected and appointed leaders from across the political divide and the religious fraternity on how to make our country better and prosperous. And in the last six months, I have talked to many religious leaders. I have talked to many elected leaders from across the... I have talked to many religious leaders. I have talked to many elected leaders from across the political divide. My door still remains open for honest, objective, and sincere deliberations based on the rule of law and the Constitution. 